The table below shows the students' results. These are different quadrats. Number of plant species, no trees, with trees, okay, and then invertebrate species with tree, uh, no trees, with trees. The students decide that one result was anomalous. Draw a ring around the anomalous result in the table above. It's worth one mark. So anomalous just means doesn't fit the pattern. Okay, and it can be any pattern you like, really. Um, so let's look down the results here. Okay, we're looking for a number that stands out. Well, that one looks pretty dodgy. Let's just we'll come back to that one in a second. Uh, these all look pretty close to, okay, yeah, pretty close. These are all pretty close. That one maybe is high, although that one's also high, and that's nine, that's 13. It's definitely this one here, isn't it? So it's looking down the rows. We can't really look across the rows here because, oh, sorry, down the columns. We can't look, look across the rows because we're looking at different things each time. Okay, so it's, it's not fair to go across um, horizontally. How does removing trees affect the number of invertebrate species living among the dead leaves on the ground? So how does removing trees affect the number of invertebrate species living among de dead leaves on the ground? Okay, And I've got to use the table above. It's worth one mark. So I'm looking at invertebrates. So I'm looking down these columns here, these two columns. Uh, and I'm looking at what happens when uh, when I remove trees. So comparing this side here, so this side compared to this side here. In fact, I shouldn't draw circles around these because the circle means it's anomalous. Whoops, let me scribble those out. So we're comparing these two here, aren't we? So removing trees decreases the number of invertebrate species. There's less. There's more where there's trees than there are there's not. So removing trees uh, decreases number of invertebrates. Invertebrates. There were more plant species growing in the area where there were no trees. Explain why. Okay, so three marks. One, two, three. So there were more plant species where there were no trees. Okay, well, so what's going on there is that there's less competition, isn't there? So trees are plants. So trees are plants and compete for resources. So what that means is less trees, less trees mean more light, less trees mean more minerals <laughs> and water. Okay, as well. Um, yeah, so less trees mean more light for other plants. Less trees mean more minerals and water for other plants. You could just write space there as well. There's more space for other plants. That's a key bit. The key point there is that the trees themselves, yeah, they compete, don't they? And because I had to write three things, make sure I put some examples of what sorts of things they compete for. I'm just looking at the mark scheme here. Um, they they push down the light route. They say talk about compete for light. This means that other plants can, uh, when there are less trees, there's more light for other plants, so they can do more photosynthesis and produce more growth. That's absolutely fine as well.